What I do, YouTube, it's your girl, Booker Shirty Girl, coming at you with another video. Today I'm going to be reacting to Darling in the Franks. Anos is the one who um, suggested that I react to this. He has used me in a couple of his mashup videos, so definitely go check out his channel. His content is very interesting, and I love seeing different reactions mashed in together for one anime. Um, but yeah, these are the openings and the as well as the endings of Darling in the Franks that I'm going to be reacting to. <coughs> um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Let me just pull up the video and we can get started. And play. Okay, so this looks like it's going to be very mecha. Because she has like devil horns, which again makes me think it's going to be mecha. And she's trying to seduce this boy, but I don't know why. I don't know if they're like in a relationship kind of thing or if she's using him for her own nefarious purposes. Zero, one, six. Okay, so it looks like he is also going for like it's, it's robotics or mecha kind of things oh my god maybe he was like a science experiment or something or like a test subject yeah he's a test subject he has to be they look like they could all be test subjects because they all fight with it looks like with like robots and shit so are they all like science experiments this could be like a fauna situation in black clover yeah three two six they all have numbers which is weird why does she want him specifically, though? Freaking thing just came up out the air and ate him. I hope it was to help him, not kill him. Okay, so yeah, see, they're all mecha. That's interesting. I'm not really, like, I haven't seen a lot of mecha anime, so I can't really say too much about it. But, like, this looks really different. Like, because she looked like she could be evil and just be fucking with him, but she also looked like she could be legitimately trying to help him, too. So, I don't know. I don't know where I go on that one. Okay, let me just fast forward. Okay. So, now she's falling into the abyss of her job, I'm assuming, and what she has to do. Okay, she fell an angel? Girl got, like, half an angel wing. Okay. Okay, so he's falling and, like, drowning in the water. I'm assuming it's, is it because, like, they lost each other? Or, and now everyone's just kind of flailing around trying to figure out what to do? A lot of friendships are breaking up, too. Ooh. Okay, so the fabric that held them together, a lot of them together, seems like it's kind of breaking at this point. Or they're, yeah, they got messed up, so they're all running. Because they're trying to, it looks like they're trying to save the same girl. Yeah, it looks like they're trying to save her. Why does she keep, like, jumping him? <laughs> like, Okay, so they, do they share, like, a mecha suit? Because it looks like Neon Genesis uh, Evangelion could possibly, like, it seems, it gives me those kind of feels. Oh, shit, looks like rivals are coming through. That's not good. Okay, so she's clearly, like, got a thing for him. Oh, he can't grab onto her because she's gone at this point? Is that why? Because she, like, died or something? I hope that's not the case. That's gonna suck. Or maybe at the end of it, they're all gonna die. So let me just fast forward that. Okay, so this is the first ending. Okay, so this is a different girl we haven't really seen anything from yet. Okay, so now it's focusing on the supporting character stories. Okay, that makes sense. If the titles are going to be about the main girl, then it should be having all the other supporting roles being showcased. They all look sad, and they, it looks very apocalyptic kind of scenery, which is probably why they're doing this in general. Like, why does she have horns? That's my thing. Is it going to be like an elfin line situation? Okay, they're running. Okay. Like, she's clearly running towards something. We just don't know what. And it looks like the world could possibly be uh, post-apocalypse kind of thing, which is why they're doing what they're doing. I'm not sure. Okay, it's literally just her running. Okay, so they're, they're running into each other, it looks like. 
they all might be on the same side, so it would make sense if they're running towards each other. What was the little bird picture of that looked like a little icon? Do they all, is that, oh, is that the organization that they work for? Hmm, questions, questions, questions. Of course, feel free to tell me what's going on in the comments below, everyone. Okay, so we're on the second ending for Darling and the Franks. I think there's five endings. Okay. She, it's clearly that she's very sexual anyway, so this is really not that surprising. They're probably just chilling at a day at the beach. It's not a big deal. They have, like, flowers and stuff. So this one seems more casual, that they're all just kind of hanging out together at this point. And, and taking away some of the seriousness, but I could totally be wrong about that, too. Because just because it doesn't look like it's serious doesn't mean it, it isn't. Okay, so this is clearly a day at the beach because all the girls are friends. We don't know if the guy is friends with all of them, but he all the girls are friends at the very least. <clears throat> and the blue-haired girl looks like she might be one of those people that's, like, afraid of everything, so... Okay. So, yeah, this one was very, like, relaxed. This one was just kind of a day at the beach. It's probably, like, the calm before the storm kind of situation. <clears throat> I'm just gonna skip this. Okay, so this is the third ending. This one's very manga visual-esque, which I'm cool with. See, it's, it shows like how all how close all the girls are, so it's not just about the guy from the looks of it, because they're like legitimately friends with each other. So that's always good to know. Like I said, I like the endings sometimes for anime because it does show a lot of the story between the main character and the side characters, or even just the side characters. Okay, so yeah, they're literally just chilling in each other's house. This big-ass mansion from the looks of it. Damn. <clears throat> I find it interesting that they're in white because white is supposed to mean purity. As well as, like, new beginnings. So, I find that interesting. Maybe foreshadowing in that instance. And then they have the red ties around them. And some of they look severed. Which means a lot of them could have been this close and then they just kind of get ripped away from each other, which is very possible. That's usually what red ties like that means. Trigger. Okay, so this is A1 Pictures that's doing this uh, anime. Is there a dub for this out? Like, I don't care if there is or not. I'm fine with uh, sub. I'm just curious if there is a dub that's out. Okay, so this is the fourth ending. Okay, this one's going to be a lot more watercolor based from looks of it. Actually, no, more acrylic. It looks. Hmm. Okay, so see, this is telling a bunch of, it looks like a bunch of fairy tales at this point. Yeah. See, like the girl getting the prince and that kind of stuff the evil snake these looks like almost like they could be like religious paintings not really 100 percent sure i don't know scripture or anything very well so okay see like i said they keep showing like these different things like they're not like they're made for each other but they're not because she's not evil but she's turning into something evil maybe because she fell for him and now she's just kind of, or there's a monster that's coming after the person she cares about and she's afraid or something. Yeah, because now it's just feathers and it's him by himself without her there. So maybe she's gone at that point because she like, he had to kill her because she was like evil or something. Not at least that I'm not 100% sure. It seemed like he was representing more of like a Bible text kind of thing. Okay, so this is the last ending. Okay, so this is kind of her on her own dealing with everything. So she's not really talking to anyone from the looks of it at this point. Her headband I find interesting. I don't know if it's a headband or if those are actually horns. Because they look like they could be. So this one that kind of looked like this is like before everything, before they met. And they're just kind of normal and they're just kind of living on their own. Doesn't seem like any of them are really close with anybody. Except her. She looked like she was about to get like forced on or something, which is not cool. 
Like, they all go to school, so they are all, like, normal girls. Okay, so see, that's her without her headband. So this is, they must, like, have almost, like, a double life kind of situation where by day they're normal, then by night they have the mecha suits and, and everything. And she looked like she was just thrown in prison. That's not cool. Why would they put her in prison? She's helpful. Oh, her world is breaking. That's not good. Maybe that's why they put her away, because she's, she's too dangerous. But all her friends are, like, behind her with it, so maybe they all got put away because they're dangerous. Hmm. And there's the red tie again, where it's just left by itself. And at this point, we don't know where the boy is either. So, okay, so that is the ending of that. Um, it was interesting. There definitely could be a lot of foreshadowing. It seems like the girls are super, super close in this anime. I don't know if that's necessarily true. But it seems like based on the opening as well as the endings that the girls are meant to be very close. Um, but they keep almost like getting ripped apart from each other because of just life in different circumstances and them going one way and, and the pink haired girl going another way. Um, it is also curious to me on why the boy wasn't in any of those endings. I know he's in all the openings, so I know it's basically from his perspective, from the looks of it. So I don't know if they were just kind of giving more screen time to the side characters and the main girl's relation with all the side characters and all the side girls, or if he, like, died or something, because we see them all holding, like, these red uh, bands, elastic kind of things that usually signifies, like, fates being intertwined with one another but they're all separated so it could be like they're supposed to be entwined but they're not and they all have separate like fates and identities and fates and all that stuff so i don't know this was definitely a good reaction the anime looks really good the animation is not bad at all like i said i've never really watched mecha like i think honestly if i'm gonna get into mecha it's gonna start with code geass and then taper off into stuff like this I don't know if this is a full mecha anime. It doesn't look like it necessarily is, but I just wanted to put that out there. Um, yeah, if you guys have any more recommendations for me, please let me know in my comment section below or hit me up through my social media. I will definitely answer. Um, expect my reactions to pop up within about two weeks to a month, month and a half at the very, very latest. Um, I hope everyone keeps coming back. And for new people, I hope you subscribe and I hope you enjoy my content. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Check out some of my other videos, anime related, cartoons, comedy, you know, whatever. Come check out my channel. And yeah, once I get to 500 subscribers, I will do a live reaction. It will more than likely be either something funny or something scary. Um, because like I said, I, I just, I can't do, um, anime reactions without editing. It's just the way it is with copyright. So yeah, if you guys, you know, really want me to do live reactions and stuff like that, let me know. And this has been another Bookish Nerdy Girl video. I hope you guys all enjoyed and have a happy and safe holiday. Peace out everybody.